Welcome back to the wider channel. In the last episode, I installed a power delivery and USB port on the dash for things like charging cell phones and GoPros and you guessed it, CarPlay. Our CarPlay has finally arrived. I'm gonna install it in this video. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So without further ado, well, let's get this started. So let's get started. This is the CarpyRide W702. It supports Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and has two channels of Bluetooth, one for uh, Bluetooth up to your headset and the other one to uh, interact with CarPlay. It is a wireless CarPlay device, which allows me to keep my phone in my pocket instead of having to put it up on the dash. It allows me to stream audio and take phone calls in my comm system without having to touch my phone. That's important to me to, to not have to actually interact with my phone, uh, rather CarPlay's simple set of controls that I'm used to using in the truck. I've seen lots of videos on this. I did a fair amount of research on it before uh, agreeing to allow CarPyRide to send me one of these for review. This one actually, had they not sent it to me, I would have bought it myself. CarpyRide also provided me with a code that will save you an additional percentage off or uh, there's savings involved in purchasing from them using the link below. So let's get uh, started with the unboxing of this unit. The good news is it's packaged real well. This is a seven inch touchscreen. It is IP67 rated for being waterproof, which is pretty important to have on the dash of a motorcycle. Comes with a power cord that uh, you can run down to your battery. We will be doing USB, which it also comes with. The USB plug. This is what we're going to use for connecting to the spider. Like I said in the last episode, we put that USB port right up there for us. It's, uh, that's what that's going to do. The other thing is spare fuse and what Carpy Ride has is a ram ball mount style um, hookup and on the back of the screen there's also the ram style hookup and we installed the ram mount on the spider knowing that this unit right here is not going to fit our non-standard handlebars uh, for most motorcycles this will work quite well uh, mounting the handlebars. Spiders, however, are quite a different beast, so we'll be utilizing the Ramball mount that we put on in the last episode. They also included a little wrench for tightening these down. And the Carpy Ride CarPlay manual. Now on the back side of this W702, there is a screw type sealed hookup for powering the unit. It is keyed, so it will only go in the right way. Like I said, they come with the wiring to wire it directly to your battery or accessory power on any other motorcycle. You could do that, uh, the same thing we did running this wire down to that accessory setup on the Can-Am Spider. It's just a whole lot easier. 
for us because we have because we have USB. So inside this connection, this is a screw down connection that, like I said, is keyed. The screw connection is keyed. So once you pop it in there, you can see there's a little rubber O-ring to keep it watertight. They say that this unit can play off a TF card, play video. I don't know that I will ever utilize it for that, but underneath this cover that has that is actually screwed down, there's a little uh, micro SD card or trans flash card. And there's also a power button right there. Ours will be turning on and off with the spider as the uh, the accessory plug that we put in is key switched. The other thing to note is the fact that they put a sunshade over this uh, to kind of keep the glare off that. So now let's get it on the spider and see how she looks. So like I said before, the uh, handlebar mount doesn't even come close to being large enough for the excessively large handlebars on the spider. So that's why the choice to go to the ram ball mount. So the ram ball mounts, they have a spring loaded system in here. You want to put the spring away from what you're going to. So we're going to open that up like a duck mouth, put it on the the base ball, base ball, the ball that's on the base, right? And then we take the copy ride device, put it in there and tighten the balls down. Get it good and tight. We're going to do some routing of this wire at some point, but just uh, for the sake of firing it up, because I'm super excited to do that, we're just going to plug it into our QC 3.0 port, standard USB. That is a big screen. Now I'm going to pair the uh, CarPlay up to my phone. And just like standard on every other CarPlay, go into your Bluetooth settings. And there is the CarPuride. And that matches what's on my phone, the pairing key. Allow it to do all of its things. Hit the Use CarPlay. We have our CarPlay. So now I can go into my music app. So now I can see all of my apps that are available. I can switch to a screen that has the map and my music. I can do some quick navigation I want to go back out to the main screen, car home. There are some settings inside this that uh, have a full equalizer that I can change the EQ settings that go to my comm system. Brightness settings, I can make this really bright, which probably makes it insane on the camera. We'll see. There is nothing hooked up. We can change the difference between the media and the voice. I can hit the home button, go back to this. If there are videos on the card, you can play the videos on the card. There are settings within this that, uh, within the Carpy Ride, the Bluetooth pairings that are in it. If I don't want the display on while I'm riding, I can hit display off. 
And then the only thing that I have to do, it actually just turns the backlight off. It's still on in the background here. You just touch it and the backlight comes back on. So on this W702, the power button up here on the top left, if you short press it once, it will automatically bring up your media and voice volumes. As I mentioned, this is IP67 rated. It's suitable for rainy riding. It does have the sunshade up top here to keep the sun off that as much as it can. There are phone and music if you're not using CarPlay. Uh, I won't use it for anything other than CarPlay. Android Auto, I have been told, is very similar to CarPlay. Uh, my wife uses it for her Android phone. I'm not judging. It's just one of those things I feel is safer. You have your phone on you in your inside jacket pocket or your pants pocket. Um, having your phone on you, if you get into a crash where you're no longer with your machine and unable to move to your machine, you have your phone with you. So you'll still be able to make those calls and with Apple's crash detections and whatnot. Having my phone on me if something were to occur uh, is a big deal to me. So, so this is going to be very nice. Now the other great thing is I just turned the spider off. And because of the way that we connected the accessory port, it stays on for the duration of the time the headlights stand, which I think is... 10 or 15 seconds. Uh, it may be longer. It, prove me wrong. There we go. I'll have to time that out uh, to see if I was right. So I hope you found this informative. Hope you found that uh, maybe this is something you wanted to see done on a Canium Spider before you went out and did it yourself. Uh, the seven inch screen I think is actually a perfect size for this. I'm uh, a little older and a little blinder. So having the large screen I'll actually be able to see that quite well. It's good and bright. It should show very well in the sunlight. We shall see as the, uh, the weather starts to get better. This is something you will see in every episode going forward that is in its permanent home on the spider. It's there to stay. If you have any questions on this, have any comments on it, or just want to say hi, just let me know in the comments. I hope this has been informative, something that uh, I wasn't the only one looking forward to seeing. Again, this is the Carpy Ride W702. They make a five inch version, I believe it's called the W502. There is a link in the description for this. It is an affiliate link. The links don't cost you any extra. They might actually save you some money. And the wider channel does get a small benefit off of that as well. As always, like, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.